Hello and welcome to the Android development tutorial and in this video we'll be looking at how to set up our IDE and simply the Android development environment. So the things that we're going to need is IDE, the JDK and the SDK. So for these tutorials I'll be instructing you on how to use B4A which is a new software for Android development which is simply basic for Android it uses the basic language and don't worry if you're not familiar with the basic language it's very simple I'm going to walk you through as we set the tutorials for the Android development so in this video I'll be showing you how to download and set up the environment so what I have here is the JDK and the basic for Android which is the IDE. So what you want to do is you just install the basic for Android or include the link in the description. The tool is free to use even for commercial use. Then all you want to do is simply to install it. So we're going to install basic for Android. You just click on accept. The next Next, one to desktop uh, shortcut. Next, then should start installing. Then after it's done installing, we don't want to launch it. I'll launch it later. We just click on finish. Then you download also the JDK link in the description. Then you just open it. So when it brings and just start. So since I've already installed it, I'll just move on to the next step. So you just open your file manager. Then we're going to local disk. Then we just locate the JDK. So my JDK will be in program files since I'm running on 64 bit. Then we look for a folder Java. Then we go into JDK. Then the bin folder. Then from here, what you want to do is to copy the file, the file location. This link, you just copy it. So I've just copied it. Then from here, you go on this PC, then just right click. Okay, so we go on properties. So it's loading the property settings. From here, we'll need to add uh, the environment settings for Java so that it's recognized by the IDE. So we just go on advanced system settings. Then from there, environment variables. Then we just choose this path. Then we edit. Then all you need to do is to add the new path. So since my Java development kit is there, okay. So you add it like that. Then, okay. Then okay and okay and then Java will be recognized by the IDE so from there we've set up the IDE and the Java development kit the another thing that you want to set up is the Android SDK so for the Android SDK I got it set up already I'll also put the link in the description for that so for the Android SDK it will come as a compressed folder so that compressed folder then needs to be extracted so you make a new folder named android in your c drive so make a new folder android then you're going to extract the stk in this folder the android then to come like this okay so from here then let's open our ide so let's open the ide An advantage of this IDE is that 
it doesn't really need much specs so if you're running on a low-end PC you might just want to try this one out to work perfectly for you another thing that you might need or you will need is an emulator if you don't have an emulator or if you don't want to use an emulator you can use your Android device so I'll use our I'll show you how to set up the emulator as well okay so before air has loaded let me just change a few things I personally don't like uh, light things so I'm just going to select dark okay set up then from here you just want to go into tools then configure parts then since I've already configured the, the Java let me just use so this file or this space will be empty then you're going to need to to configure the JTK in the IDE so just click on browse then we'll go into our installation folder of the JDK. Just open like that. Look for Java. That being in the Java. And it shows like that. And also configure the Android SDK. So we're going to logo drive C, the Android folder, the SDK, then platforms. Then from here you can choose whatever platform that you want to use. So I'll be using let this platform which is Android 32. Just get that. Then okay. Then from here we've configured our SDK. Then the other thing that you want to configure is the emulator. So here I've got an emulator, libdroid. I'm using libdroid for emulation. I also put that in the description so I use libdroid for emulation let me just run libdroid and show you how to connect to the IDE so let's open libdroid so if you're not familiar with the word emulator it's simply an application that emulates your Android device or lets you use your Android device system, operating system on your computer. So the essence of this emulator is for debugging and also testing out the, the, the applications that we're going to be making. So we can also, we're also going to be doing a live demonstration whereas during the UI, making the UI, you're going to see how the UI is appearing using the same emulator. So once the emulator is launched, you can just drag it in the position you want to place it in. So let's place it there. Then let's open our IDE. Then I also put the settings that I'm using for this emulator so so that so that this suits your screen as well. So I'm just going to resize the size of this IDE to that. Okay, sorry for that. Kind of configured uh, Facebook on this emulator so it will receive the messages. Then I'm also going to minimize or reduce the size of this uh, log space. Then from there we want to click on uh, file. Then we just want to make a new project. So new project, then we'll go on default. From there it should prompt a window where you're going to save the project. Then you enter the file name, that's the application name. Okay, so the folder, let's browse. Should open file manager so that we look at the folder that we want to save our project in. You need to take note of the project folder or the location of the project. 
so that you can so that you can look at the the ABB that's the up bundle and also the APK so I'll just save it in app source cause that's what I'm going to select then project name so I'll just put it uh, test like that when we click OK then you should notice here the name should come test meaning that the project has been successfully created and set okay so as you can see when you, when your id opens like this then it means that uh, your project has been met successfully so from here i just want to show you how to connect to the ide so you simply open designer should open another window so when it opens this window you just want to go on this button which says designer okay then we just click on connect so since when you run your Android emulator it also starts Android ADB the IDE will recognize the Android emulator using the Java the JDK and also the SDK so as you can see we are now emulating what we can see we can we can see whatever it is we make to our application using the emulator then we can also scale this to connect a device like that okay so these are the basics that you need to know about this uh, this Android development setup so in future tutorials i won't be showing all that thank you for watching the video and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already